Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. So there is a community that's fighting behind the scenes. This is a karmic community um, that has been collaborating to block two people from coming together, whether this is in business, in relationship or whatever. But rest assured, whoever these two people are, you will connect in divine timing. Um, there is something where it's that someone is leaving their community and going to another community to get someone to help them or a group of people to help them to make sure that two people do not come together. Whoever the masculine is in this divine union that's supposed to take place, whether this is in business, relationship or whatever, it will be taking place just uh, in at the right time. OK, so this is not something people are really able to block. So this masculine is going to be leaving this community out in the cold. Because there's something that's being illuminated where it's like, I don't know if this, if this, if it's this like woman's ex or someone in the community or it's the man's ex, like his wife, they didn't want him moving on. Uh, and I realized I've been picking up on the same group of people for quite a long time. There's a whole lot of chaos going on behind the scenes um, because a group, a family, whoever this is, they just don't want to see two people coming together and Part of this reason has to do with, with the fact that one, with the feminine energy, this community came together to destroy someone purely out of jealousy. So this is like you, uh, a group of people coming together and deciding that we um, are going to cause this person torment, torment. So they can't have love. They cannot have wealth. They cannot have happiness. They cannot be content in life. They cannot be successful. So they come up with this plot where everyone is in on it, but they do it in such a meticulous and orchestrated way. It makes it almost impossible for things to be seen in the way that it's supposed to. So meaning if you were to even defend yourself or try to explain what it is that's really going on, it wouldn't make any sense because it's something that's out of this world. It's like something almost supernatural. Kind of imagine telling, let's say, a boss or, you know, or someone just really, uh, um, just anyone at all that has common sense, right? Even them, just imagine you telling them, hey, these people are doing things behind the scenes to interfere with my work. They're having people call my job to pretend like they are actually looking for work. They're not really looking for work. They're tempering with my work behind the scenes. Uh, they're playing, let's say if you have a platform, they're playing with my numbers. Or, you know, if you do like payroll, there's someone messing with my payroll to make it seem like I don't know what I'm doing. It's something really like meticulous they've been doing. Or they may even be reaching out to family member, members and friends and telling them, hey, did you know she said this about you? Did you know he said this about you? Like it's really meticulous things that they're doing behind the scenes. Um, to make it seem like you are unfit or something is wrong with you. You may even have an excess out telling people that whether you're a man or woman, that you are very reckless. You're someone that's loose. There's something that has been planned and has been being carried out for a long time. And you have a group of women in this community, in this collaboration that are very determined to keep something going. It's like, oh, uh, we're having a hard time finding people to collaborate with us. So we're going to leave our community and go to this community and see if any Anyone will be willing to work with us to have this person block trap uh, stuck in their mind feeling confused and things like that but it looks like the whole community is the one they are the one that are trapped in their mind so someone may be wanting to leave this community to come towards a queen of source um to kind of clear things up speak their mind but it's not really the truth this is someone that is coming towards you with a bunch of lies because they're going through some type of heartbreak about a relationship that's coming to get uh coming to end and then a relationship that's coming together. So it's like there's some type of switch going on, a flip. So there's one relationship coming to an end and then another one starting. So something has to end for something new to begin. And these people don't want this. It could very well be that the masculine in this equation when it comes to the divine union, his mother or ex-wife, baby mama, whoever this is, has been doing a lot of things behind the scenes to block two people from coming together. It's like... Before he gets to her, we're going to make sure we cause this hindrance in his life. We're going to make sure we cause this hindrance in her life. So this is a whole plot that has been orchestrated. So they may be wanting to send someone in to come in and give you some type of disingenu disingenuine love uh, so that you 
can get some type of offer that's not genuine, that's not going to lead to wish fulfillment, so that this masculine doesn't come towards you. They may try to do something to block him from moving on. It's a whole collaboration that's going on, and I don't know if he never knew, or there's something where the truth is now out in the open, and these people are having a hard time. This woman is absolutely up to something behind the scenes. This is a thief. This is someone very karmic. This is someone who's a liar, uh, very malicious. Uh, maybe lying a lot about some type of betrayal that may have taken place in a connection. This could even be someone that may have manipulated a masculine to see you in a light that was not yours. And now it has her burden because they don't want out here and collaborated with a queen of wands to cause an ending to some type of chapter. And they're all under burdens. They're all under judgment because this new beginning is still happening with this uh, temperance energy. This could be a Sagittarius. Uh, this could be either also like a Leo or Aries. There's something in here. Either there's a Leo that's been causing a lot of problems or there's a Sagittarius that will be having a new beginning in some type of relationship. It will be victorious. Um, there's a King of Swords in here as well. So I don't know if this Sagittarius is typically in his King of Swords energy or this is someone that works in law enforcement or there's a second gentleman in there that may want to meet with you and have some type of family with you, uh, something like that. But just know that someone knows that a masculine has put an end to some type of relationship or he is going to be putting some type of end to a relationship to balance things out for, his, for him in his life because he's been trapped in some type of karmic relationship with a woman that he's not happy in. Um, kind of think of you like... You know how sometimes you meet people that tend seem to have their life together. You don't know if they really do, but the but what it is they have on the outside, it seems like they have everything. And then you have people around them that envy them for being in that energy. So it's like a group of people saw you and they said, well, she has this or he has this. He's happy. He has a good job. She's happy. She has a good job. Um, she is content in life. Uh, she's in the upright, doesn't sleep around and things like that. Why does he have to have everything? Why does she get to have everything? So they make it a, a mission for them to destroy your life, basically. So they all came together again to do some type of collaboration in order to destroy you. And this is all out of jealousy. This is all out of animosity something about greed and i think the greed has to do with the fact that they know if you and this masculine or you and this feminine comes together it'll be extremely abundant okay so these people are living in fear and anxiety about some type of plot or someone planning to send you some type of communication uh, when it comes to working with you or to commit uh, to you with you or something like that and they want to put an end to that but it's not going to happen because something has already manifested in the spirit and it's manifesting in the physical now so in due time this is going to this is going to take place um someone may be mastering themselves behind the scenes and people don't know that it's like they've been keeping this man in some type of karmic mindset for a long time this could be like a king of pentacles as well there's something where it's like a king of pentacles is going through some type of awakening and they've been depleting him of his spiritual energy for a long time like the positive energy that he's supposed to have they've been depleting him of that energy for a long time and it's like it's not working anymore or there's something where he's going through some type of awakening but whether this is his mother or his wife his baby mama this woman is up to something very karmic. It's that like she's out here telling lies. Uh, she's out here trying to collaborate with people to make sure that this man does not leave her. But she knows he's not staying. So whether he leaves her to go to go and be with a queen of cups or just to start over, he's leaving. This group is fighting because you may have people in here. They want to apologize to you because they know the truth now. But there are karmic people in this group that still want to keep something going. This woman tells nothing but lies. I'm telling you. Tells nothing but lies. She's still up to her sneaky ways. It's that like someone is going to different locations, uh, collaborating with a group of different people to farther some type of narrative. And she's trapped in some type of... I don't know what this is. Like, someone thought if they... Told or not, like you know, like some people t they keep lying and lying and lying. She's telling one lie again to cover up another lie. So, like, if the truth comes out, she'll tell a lie to cover that. Like, she'll tell a lie to manipulate someone so that they don't see the truth 
for what it is. So it says she's playing mental games with someone to keep them trapped in some type of situation. So this is what's going on basically. And she has help from behind the scenes. And this all has to do with blocking or stopping a queen of cups from taking some type of new direction in life. Your strength bothers this woman because you know exactly what it is that they are doing. And you know, this woman is stalking you. This could even be someone's wife that has a crush on another woman, but the woman she's stalking does not see her in that light. And she's confused about her emotions. That is the absolute truth. This woman has a crush on a woman that she's stalking. So I don't know if like the the ex-husband like you or the baby daddy likes you or something like that. And then she likes you. She has some type of infatuation for you. And she's stalking you online. But rest assured, this communication, baby, is coming in. And it's a big yes. This man is walking away, will be coming into your life to balance things out with you, has made that decision that he does want to grow with you, meet with you, take charge of his life, is listening to his intuition, right, to give to you, balance things out with you, commit with you. You may want to be careful as well because there's something where it's like, I don't know if this is an ex or whoever this is behind the scenes, they want to send someone, or this is this was a plot before, they wanted to send someone in your life to commit to you just so they could break your heart. So it's like you get in a relationship with someone and they're pretending to like you, care for you, you're their twin flame, soulmate, whatever, you two are on the same page, they'll, they'll die for you basically just so they can end up breaking your heart, but it's not going to happen. People are fighting with an emperor behind the scenes. It's like they're doing and saying anything to block him from giving you a commitment. Uh, and I said, as I said, again, this is going to happen. This could be something where it starts off as a work relationship. Right now, they're saying we need to make sure that they don't connect. So they're doing anything behind the scenes to make sure two people do not connect because they don't want an emperor or a, a, a person of high honor. Like a wealthy man or someone, someone that's generous and things like that, someone that's charitable. They don't want him taking any type of action to balance this out because it's going to lead to victory. All right. But this man is taking action to uh, have some type of reconciliation with you, does want to collaborate with you. Someone may think very highly of you. Someone may see you as a healer, as an angel and things like that. This is like a higher level soulmate that's trying to balance things out. And this is some type of judgment by the ancestors for this to come into fruition. And it's a big yes. So you two will be communicating. And again, he's moving on with his life. So someone may have received some type of communications as well from a king of swords, letting her know or letting them know that, yeah, he's leaving. He don't left her. He's moving on with his life. So whatever this is, this collaboration with this queen of wands is over so this man could have had some type of partnership with a queen of wands maybe he had a wife that they were not together maybe things were at a standstill or maybe this is her mother there's something here about a bunch of women coming together trying to block two people from coming together and they're going from community to community think of someone leaving their job to come to your job and tell your boss to fire you or to have your boss leave you out in the cold and your boss is probably looking at them and what the heck is wrong with this clown like you left your job or you literally took time out of your day to call me to tell me to fire someone that didn't do nothing to you. Um, it could also be that they've been speaking ill of some of you to your bosses, family members, friends, people that think highly of you or people that you've been around for a long time. And they want them to see you in some type of light that's not fitting. And people were probably paying attention to them earlier, but now it's that no one is paying attention to these people because something just is not adding up. And they're still trying to coerce people into seeing you in some type of way that's just not applicable. So they could be ha having a hard time finding alliances uh, and they have to think really hard on how they can go about accomplishing their goals because people are walking away from these people, whatever it is they are planning is not going to go their way. There's something where it's that people keep doing something to a feminine energy or a masculine energy and the universe keeps stepping in to balance it out. It's that every time they do something, the universe has a new way of fixing it. They're like, we're the masters of illusions Like we've been here before you. So you can keep trying, but we don't got time today, tomorrow, or whenever. These people are also bothered by your strength. They're trying to figure out how they can dismantle that. Like, how can they 
hinder your strength, hinder your way of seeing things. Like maybe you are someone that has grown a lot. You're someone that has healed and things like that. And it's bothering them because it makes it harder for them to take you down. So every day you wake up, they can do something today. And then when you wake up tomorrow, it's that you're a brand new person with a new perspective, confident out here, stepping out on faith and everything. And then it has them worry because they know your strength has led to some type of chapter, karmic chapter coming to an end. Like this chapter of endings, uh, hopelessness, loss, anxiety, fear, all of that. This is over and they are trying to find a way on how to reignite a new karmic cycle, but it's like they're going through endings. It's like people blocking you, but then blocking themselves at the same time, but they're losing way more than you're losing because the universe is replenishing you. As they take from you, there's more being poured into your cup. Um, so there may be like, I'm telling you, they're way down as heck behind the scenes, trying to figure out ways on how to cause illusions and everything, everyone they're going towards to give them some type of offer in how they can sabotage you. They're rejecting their offers. They say, we don't want to be part of this. You told us that something, someone lied really horribly about a feminine energy. And people are realizing that one, they don't even know you. So it's like someone told people a bunch of things about you. It's almost as though, as though, let's say, uh, like, let's say John, Johnny was dating Maria and he thinks he's a Maria expert. Maria leaves Johnny because Maria knows Johnny is toxic and karmic as heck and brings nothing to the table. He's insecure, imbalanced, and things like that, right? And she was probably worth more his time than he was worth her time. But you know, maybe Maria didn't know herself when she started dating Johnny. Well, Johnny never really took the time to learn Maria, so he don't know nothing about Maria personally. Everything he knows about her is things that he has concluded in his mind because he refuses to grow up and see that not everybody is the same. So then when you leave or when Maria leave Johnny, Johnny gets on some type of bandwagon to destroy her. So now he goes spreading lies and maybe even joins a cult, some type of clothing and they've all come together and he feels powerful and invincible that he's going to destroy Maria. But it turns out that he don't know nothing about Maria. So he can be out here telling people Maria is reckless. Maria Maria is eager to be in a relationship. Maria is incompetent. Maria is toxic. Maria is mentally unstable. But the whole time, none of that is true. It's just that he don't know Maria, never invested in his time with Maria, never invested into Maria in, Maria in any way, shape, or form. So he don't know this woman in any way. Okay, Everything he's telling about this woman is a lie. All right, And he's also doing this because he does not want to live in a world where he sees Maria living a fulfilling life. He said, I'd be damned if she's out here living happily, has a family and a husband, happy kids, happy home, and they're pouring into each other. And this is exactly what you're going to get, by the way, because this is your justice. And it has these people burdened, living in anxiety behind the scenes, still trying to figure out a way on how they can defeat you, stop you, and cause a tower in your life. But the universe is stepping in to cause a tower in these people's life. There's an emperor that's about to fall ill or is either ill and it's about to get worse for him because he may have done something to steal from you. He may have done something to block you. Oh, yeah, it's karma, sir. I don't know if he said I feel like someone is sitting behind the scenes living in fear because they're trying to see if anything is going to happen to them. Or is there going to be any karma for them stealing from you or hindering you or blocking you or doing something yes 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 they are trying to find a way to cause hindrances in your life towers in your life but you are a healer and you will have this new beginning trust me new beginning new life new you probably relocating and new love that's going to be absolutely genuine you two will be very protected the universe your ancestors they're very protective of this union coming together someone knows that you are in the upright it's like your character is being uh, uh, validated that you are someone in the upright. You do know what you're doing. You are someone of substance. You do have a lot to offer to people. So this could be what it is. They've been telling people the whole time that you don't bring nothing to the table. Look at this. They've been lying about you the whole time. You're out here, a whole queen of pentacles and very loyal and committed. 
And this is what they didn't want people seeing about you. I'm telling you, you will be receiving a contract that's going to lead to abundance for you. There is some type of, I don't know if there's a divorce going on between two people and the wife in that divorce, their divorce proceeding or their breakup. This is a woman going through some type of divorce, some type of breakup. Okay. And she's paying people behind the scenes to make sure something goes in her favor. Maybe paying someone to come towards you to give you some type of offer, which is what I mentioned earlier that she's paying that they are paying someone to come into your life and give you some type of disingenuous offer this is someone very reckless because they don't want a king i mean uh, uh, like a, a, a temperance energy your higher level soulmate they don't want him coming into giving you some type of offer because it will be successful okay so there's something where it's like this queen of pentacles is still collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes, still paying people behind the scenes uh, to have a knight of wands come in and give you some type of offer. This is someone very reckless. This is someone that's, I'm telling you, this is, this is a rejection. Don't even bother going to this woman, this high priestess and empress energy, whoever this is, this queen of cups. Don't even bother because it's going to be a no. Uh, if you didn't know, now you know, Empress, High Priestess energy, you may have some type of King of Pentacles. Maybe this is who they're trying to block from coming towards you because they know when you and this man get together, it's going to be extremely abundant. So they're trying to block him and all this man is doing is figuring out on how he can take charge and put an end to this nonsense right maybe he's moving in silence or something yeah he's moving in silence but he's being protected by the universe whatever it is he's planning to do it's a yes you two will be successful together but they are trying to send someone to commit to you ahead of time so that they can betray you i'm telling you <laughs> They're still going for it. Is that we're still going to go and cause car uh, chaos in her life. We're still going to go and cause chaos in his life. We don't want them having wish fulfillment. But baby, this man is gone. Someone is gone mentally and emotionally from a situation. They may want to be, uh, uh, I don't know. Like he just does not want anything to do with these people because he knows the truth. He knows the truth about a betrayal, what people have been doing to stop you, block you. Like, it's like the, you, like people, there's something where a group has been lying for a long time. And they thought they would be able to keep this lie going for, a, for an entire lifetime till like all of them were done. Like you were done and everything. You were supposed to be in misery, being rejected out in the cold, stuck in your mind, living out here homeless. Uh, no love, no nothing, no, no genuine love offers, no marriages, no success in career. Everything you invest in, it does not come into fruition or there's nothing good that comes out of it. But this is not how it's going. Instead of you going through that, this is what your enemies are going through. And this is what they're about to be going through for a long time. It's like a bunch of people don't got together and curse their generations for many, many lifetimes. And they don't know that like their whole lineage is cursed out here solely because of the fact that they're out here trying to block two people from coming together, let alone this is a union that is divinely orchestrated. I don't even think the masculine in the divine union may not even know how imperative it is for these two people, for he and whoever this woman is to come together because there's some type of abundance that's going to be manifested and it's going to be so ridiculous. It's going to piss people off. But there's also a spiritual uh, part of this union coming together that's going to be very influential to the world. And this is what these people are trying to block as well. There could be like a child that comes out of this uh union and this is going to be someone that's very like a like a male i think either like a male or a female child it could be a male child that's going to be a leo that's going to come out of this union between these two divine beings and this is someone that's going to be very gifted is that they're going to carry on their parents legacy or something like that so I don't know why these people are disinvested. I mean, I can understand why, because these are people that go to practitioners that are into dark magic and things like that. They do a lot of divination monitoring. Like they watch a lot of tarot readers. They go to a lot to get a lot of readings. Someone pays for readings over and over and over and over. It's at the, 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 the rate at which a woman pays for readings is ridiculous because at this point it's that nothing new has happened five, since five minutes ago when you got a reading from me. So what are you expecting to happen or to change? But the only thing also is that every time she gets a reading, the story is the same. 
the two are still coming together. They're still going to be abundant. They're still going to have wish fulfillment, ultimate fulfillment. They're, I'm telling you, they're still going to have ultimate fulfillment. They will be having victory together. So I don't know what it is she thinks she's going to get. There's a man in this scenario, this story that was paid to pretend to be someone's twin flame and that truth will be coming out at some point he will be telling someone that yeah i was paid to act like i was someone's twin flame i was this and that yeah they don't want you receiving a communication but you will they don't want you growing they're heartbroken because they don't want you growing they don't want you doing anything but they say you're still growing instead of i don't know what this is like as far as this uh um uh, uh, this eight of wands in the reverse. There's something where like a wife figure, mother figure wanted to have control over something, but she cannot have control over it. Again, it's like they're trying to have you procrastinating. So like, I, let's say I do tarot. They will more than likely be sending me energy to make me not want to do my work, not want to do my readings and things like that. But it's like, it's not working. Because this person does not have the authority or the place to even do this. So they're sending a lot of negative energies towards you with this eight of wands in the reverse. But it's not working. It's not working. This collaboration is not going anywhere at all. So it's like people are out here wasting their money. And in the end, they're going to end up finding you two they're gonna like sit and have a front row seat to see two people come together and it's gonna happen in divine timing at this point there's nothing they can do all they can do is they throw like a wrench in the situation but it's not doing anything like when source decides that two people are meant to come together they will there's nothing you all can do so i don't know how else to verbalize that to get it to your head but honey these two people are going to be coming out of the cold, out of separation, out of the distance, because there's a distance between these two people. They will be reconciling and moving on with life. They will be getting married and be very abundant. From what I'm seeing, it is going to be a successful union. Baby, I don't know what it is that you all want me to tell you. It don't matter who you go to. You can go to a practitioner that charges $1,000 per hour. They're going to tell you the same thing. These two people will be having some type of reconciliation. They will be healing. They will be getting married. They will be abundant. They will have uh, children together, may have one or two children together. There's nothing you all can do to stop this union from coming together. Okay? This is going to be a union that's going to be of commitment, loyalty, truth, healing, like good communication. Like there's no wondering what it is this other person is thinking. If these two people have some type of misunderstanding, they know how to come together to resolve it. These are both powerful manifestors that are out here manifesting like their abundance already ahead of time. So it's like, I don't know what to tell you all, but there's nothing you are doing that's going to lead to any type of success for you. Right now, you're just kind of wasting your time in acquiring karma for yourself. This whole group, you've done nothing but trapped yourself in some type of like karma. I don't even think you all realize how horrible the backfire is about to be with the actions that you've been taking. And I know you're all desperate out here. To keep a man trapped in something. But this man ain't going to stay in this relationship. And it don't matter who he's going to or if he's going to someone. Someone is done. Like a masculine is done with a relationship. So he's moving on with his life. To give an offer to someone. Be cautious divine feminine. Because there could be a masculine. Like a knight of cups coming towards someone. Um, to like it's like to it's like they may want to send multiple options to you. But you're going to see right through them. And it's all an effort to keep you trapped in your mind. Like I'm telling you, to keep you trapped in your mind and prevent you from taking some type of action. It's almost as though they were expecting you to want to rush into some type of connection with someone. You're not someone that's a rusher. Like a, you're not in a hurry to be in a relationship with anyone. And this is the this is what's causing them a problem because if a knight of cups come towards you or even a knight of wands comes towards you, you're going to be looking at them like, okay, yeah, we can be friends. We'll see how it goes. Well, if you're still around in a year or two or maybe in five years, then we can talk about a relationship. But it's not something where you're in a hurry. And this is also what I'm saying that there's someone's either ex or family member or someone that thought they were an expert when it comes to Maria, but they are not an expert when it comes to Maria because they never really took the time to learn Maria. 
It's almost also like people are trying to keep a feminine energy in isolation, being a recluse and things like that so that they don't date or they can have some type of fear of dating. And I, this woman don't got no fear of dating. From what I'm seeing, someone don't got no fear of dating. Is that someone is out here living their best life? Maybe they're just not ready to be dating or something, or maybe they're just looking at their options and waiting for the right time to choose or just maybe they're just like there are women that just like to be single and just they just they just like being single i don't know what to tell you like there's a woman out here that just likes being single she's not out here looking for the next uh pretty young thing or the next guy or whatever i think she just she enjoys her time by herself or to herself she enjoys her quality time when she's ready to date she will this can also be like you know how sometimes the universe works is that people are trying to block you from getting options from everybody but then it's that you're in some type of apartment building and there's a man there that likes you and he's real good looking and has a lot going on for himself and you two start a romance and it's like oh well thank you for blocking everybody else i didn't know he was here the whole time something like that so i don't know what it is they think they're doing but it's not hindering anyone's love life it's not hindering your forward movement you can't have people monitoring your communication so that when you do start talking to someone, they can get in there and cause some type of hindrance and say, hey, I just want you to know she sells herself online. I just want you to know she's mentally retorted. I just want you to know that blah, 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 blah. And he'll probably be looking at them and the end. Why are you telling me all of this? You know, there are people that are very disloyal in life and they don't understand that, that not everybody is like that. Like for me, if you come and tell me something about my partner that I'm with, I'm going to go tell them that. I'm like, hey, your sister told me or this person told me that this was going on. I don't, I didn't really pay them no mind, but I just want you to know that this is what they're out here saying to people. You may want to be mindful of how you interact with this person. When people don't have that kind of mindset, this is when they think that everybody they go to to speak ill of you to them, they're going to take it seriously. So, yeah, they, they think they can cause all the illusions in the world to cause burdens to you being able to have offers and things like that. But that's not how life works with everybody. There are people out here that actually have two senses that they know how to use. OK, and in due time. This commitment is coming together. Things are being balanced out. This new beginning is coming into being. Two people will be meeting to have a fresh start. We'll be healing together. Come across a tower in people's lives. I don't know what it got to do with them. But honey, I guess it matters to them that two people are coming together. But it is going to be a tower because these two people will be very protective of their relationship. Will be moving on to karma waters and things like that. There's a... a, 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 a King of Cups out here, and I think this is the one that was supposed to be the Maria expert that's, that does not know nothing about Maria. There could be a feminine energy as well in the equation that thought that she was a Maria expert. She's not a Maria expert, and this is why these people are having a hard time figuring out how they can destroy or handle Maria's energy because Maria, baby, Maria be in direct connection to Source. It's a Source is always pouring into Maria's cup. It's that every day Maria wakes up, there's something new in there. They take something out. Source pours something bigger into it. It's that, hey, limitless possibility, Maria, wherever you want, you can have whatever you like, okay? Because we just know, we know what it is that you've been out here doing. This ain't your first rodeo. So I don't know what to tell you all again. People that have been collaborating, family, friends, colleagues, whatever you all want to call yourself, strangers, these two people are coming together in divine timing. There's nothing you can do. So if you've been bribing people behind the scenes, lying, you've been wasting your time. They're coming together. They will get married. They will have children. I think two children. Yes. Two or three children. Like these are two people that want to have like a big family. Family is going to be very important to these two people. These are the, the kind of people where it's a life is just about their children, their family unit. They don't care what's going on outside of that family unit. It's all about the family unit, the business. Like two people are coming together that are like minded. And it's going to be really terrifying because the, the man can be like on a different in a, on a different continent and the woman is on a different continent. And you ask them a question and they're going to tell you the same thing give you the same answer it's not that they rehearsed it it's just like these people are so in sync together like the synchronicity between these two that i'm picking up on is ridiculous 
but this is how it's about to be. So you all can keep telling all the lies you want, keep trying to sneak this woman, trying to trap this woman, whatever it is you want to do. It's not going to work. This is this woman's future. This is this man's future. This is the both of them coming together, moving on to karma waters. Okay. Like this is you all you're, ta you're having a tower because these two people are still having this fresh start. We'll be relocating, getting married, committed in a traditional relationship, orthodox and all of that healing, balancing themselves out, their lives out very much committed to each other, genuine emotions, nothing pretentious. So I don't know what to tell you all again, keep on collaborating. It ain't like, it's not going to do nothing. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I, I'm, I'm assuming you all be watching us. You car makes me watching us to get an update on if the magic you're doing is working. It ain't working. Source has decided two people are still coming together. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.